would be bold, but it's time to it's, be bold it's for very, MVP. It's very MVP. So I, I do like that they pick it up, you know, sticking with uh, their image, I yeah. suppose. The plan work, like you were talking about. Let's talk about this TP already coming in. It looks like that's from Death, too. Going to come on to Yondu here first, but easy peasy. Just too much. Pretty competitive, as I said. But speaking, speaking of competition, we do have a fight happening. Five on five right here. The TP's coming in. And the spike goes down, actually, to potentially MVP. Not sure about that one. They get the uh, stopwatch on ADD. Yukal also going to burn it here. This fight going on forever. Ian out of the fight now. He's super low. Yukal as well. And just nobody dies as everybody disengages. It looks like Max, alone on the left side, is going to be caught out here. The second kill of the game. They spent a lot of time not having to respect damage too much, so just we'll tick up, as we all know, kind of like tormented soil damage from these. He just wants to get in there, and Yukal gets the pushing advantage, and even a TP coming in here from Smet. They are going deep underneath this bottom side turret. The Orn ultimate comes in. It is going to miss the knock up onto Max. He is still going to die. Yondu on the backside goes for the Hextech ultimatum, but that just secures his death here. Easy couple of kills for KT as they are dominating this early game. And that's them playing around cooldowns. Teleport down on Max. He was in the bot lane. ADD doesn't have teleport. He can't join. There's no summoner on Max for combat. Combat summoners in this game are one ignite and I guess a red smite. They've got nothing else <laughs> yeah. in terms of combat summoners. When you got double combat summoners from KT, you walk up to a 5v5 and you have eight. Max Dude, does. This is crazy. Look at Mata. He's just running in there. He's like, hello, Ian. Ian's going to last red score, and he doesn't care at all. Nice cast is going to knock Deft away, but Ian has no escape here. Easiest kill as Mata is just being alpha mode in the enemy jungle, just saying, hey, what's up, Yasuo? You can't kill me. Mata's been unlocked. Continues to push forward. Auto's off. We're talking like 60% of missing current HP in the late game because of the AP scaling. It's going to be really big, and I really agree with the item choice here of going the AP Kai'Sa. It is the standard, but it fits a game like this really well. Yeah. And you can see what happens when you have a Tom Kench that's a you know, Like, they don't even have the minion wave in. So KT, they can crush face in game one, and granted, they will do that. They're going to make MVP look silly. I'm just... Yeah, on the rift. <laughs> ADD well. doing his uh, Mundo thing. You got to do what you got to do. And, well, they didn't have a minion wave. They had an He's opportunity. Pushing in. They definitely have a, a nice amount of siege with the Swain and the Orn. Oh, they're trying to go on the back line here and actually get on to Oyukao. But look at the Yandu. He just disappears nearly solo down by score. Braga's ultimate, I guess, to set up a last breath just on the Swain. Very curious. Well, ADD is really tanky, so they're going to come in here and just try to bop heads together, try to come in, and he does not get the steal as Yandu is dead, but the rest of KT just way too strong at this point, and finally ADD is going to die. We have seen Amundo finally go down here. The numbers would like a lot, make a lot more sense in that uh, case. Pilot doing one against Afrika where they got super far behind, but he was doing so, so much on the pick, but still couldn't carry his team. Yukal and four members all of a sudden with a minion wave. The cast comes in, it's dodged by everybody but one, and now Max nearly goes down. Here comes the Kaisa, though. It's going to be able to two-shot with the help of Yukal. That'll be an easy pick onto the support Grog as they get their first inhibitor of the game. Bit of a stroll through game one for KT Roll, still looking to try to close the game. Will it be on this push, or will they be repelled? MVP walking out. Yeah, Pilot, you know, he does do significant damage there to Yukal, trying to push them away. Ian's still looking for his moment. Uh -oh. ADD getting low. They're going to knock him onto him. Can't quite kill him just yet. They're going deep. They're going to be able to take out Ian. And, well, Def just has way too much room in these team fights. No way to get through the tank line. And poor Pilot, he does so much damage, but he can't carry his team. And that should do it. KT, the stroll through the park, as you mentioned. They're going to be able to push in. Take out the Nexus turrets and the rest of MVP. And take down game number one here. Max doing his best, and they really want more kills. Not going to matter. Nicely done. One to zero, KT. Didn't sound like Vlad, but I guess it is going to be the Vlad. Um, Rumble does get run over by Singed event. Favors KT again. As Score had to wait. Couldn't even use his Q during that. He's going to try and battle, and we're seeing Shen ultimate. 
I mean, trying to come in here, gets the stun, and there's the Galio. You're gonna get the knock up here onto ADD. It is sticking down, but it's not enough. Lambs or Spike comes in, same scores. Oh. But here's Rakan. First blood, Max has shown up. There's the double kill. The MVP fans are going wild in the studio right now. And Smeb, it looks like he has been able to get. But look out. at how many turret shots and how much damage is blown. They have to use the Lambs Respite to stop the. Yeah, instead of the Zaya stats, but. I mean, the Zaya stats in that fight were pretty funny, but. Okay, gonna get on top of ADD. Nice little kill there. Bit of a mistake. Nice Good game. times. Uh huh. Bad times for ADD, but he doesn't have flash, so. Here comes the Yakety Sax music. This is the most annoying thing. Look at Score. He's just going back and forth, and so is ADD. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is that Smeb actually does a decent amount of damage. Oh, oh the Q misses. The drumstick's not going to land. UCAL still on the chase, and they seem to have given up. <laughs> ADD going to just go to the base now. Is he going to proxy some minions? I think he should definitely get himself executed. Not yet. He can get them anyway first. Are you serious? No, no, he's, don't go that he's way. He's going to give the kill to Score. What are you doing, mate? You start proxying the minion wave, then you die to the turret. He went the wrong way, Valdez. He went the wrong way. He could have proxied it into the base. Oh. Uh, you had one job, ADD. Since for a while there was like fan status through all of this, AD's teleport is up, but no point to use it on the very low health turret. My solo queue seems that zero and four would definitely have TP'd into that turret. Just trying to group up as five, actually, and push into the mid lane and actually get it. But the flash on in, the counter engager trying to get matched. They're going to catch ADD. Bot is going to get low, and they do kill them. But here is Smith oh. coming into the back line. There's that damage. He's going to get one. Ian also going to get low here. Looks like Pilot on the run. Smev getting solo is able to get into the lambs or spite just barely. The heal comes off, and Yandu is going to get in there and get the kill for Ian. Here comes Steph trying to get Ian on the back. But Yukal comes from behind. Where'd he come from? He was chasing Pilot, comes in the left side. And once that Q gets off, there will be another kill over to Smev. Four members go down on the side of MVP. Smeb cleans it up. I just love that scores having, like, MVP performance in game one. MVP. All the thought as uh, here comes MVP. They're going to get the kill onto the Shen. UCAL trying to recreate that taunt. Not going to happen. Ian, though, just disappearing. Def getting too low. And it looks like maybe perhaps KT have bit off a little more than they can chew. But look at Score. Pilot is popping off, but Score is able to get the follow up kill. Max getting low. One more dash will finish off that Rakan. But the Sin is still very tanky. Oh. One more shot is going to do it. A triple kill over to the Kindred score. Oh, boy. The old man laughs in the end as he is just cleaning up the kills. Five, two, and five. He's making the Kindred look really, really strong. One of these guys that's here in the, in the LCK. When you compare them, it's just teamwork. Other stuff gets in the way. Kindred combine. That should be pretty good news for the side of KT. They have a terrifying late game composition. They do. Hasn't even completed his boots, but he's beating Deft and Farm. And he's doing here. a lot of damage. Yandu is going to get caught. Unfortunately, uh, he is so close to his flash. I don't think he quite has it yet. But it looks like they are going to take him out before he can flash the wall or get out of there. Smeb is really fast. He's gone movement speed Vladimir. Here he comes. Here we go. Looking for it. The Stan United. But Smeb, oh boy. <laughs> He's getting excited, getting a little bit too deep in MVP. And I know that a lot of people uh, that are watching love this kind of play. TP's going to come in as Ian died somewhere. Uh, didn't quite get to see that. Yukal is going to get on top of Yandu. He has his flash this time, doesn't use it very well. Uh, is going to be able to pillar the Zaya, but he's not getting out of this one at all. Uh, going to end up giving everyone an assist. Everybody Zoom gets on the Baron, of down to 6,000. ADD's getting in there. You know that MVP's going to okay. fight. See you later, Smeb. Mata getting pretty low here, too. Pilot has so much room in the back line. The Baron didn't even die. They didn't even kill it. Uh, and Yukal <laughs> dies. In the dies. He's like following the poison trail, too. He's like, please, <laughs> take me with you. Is this the path to victory? <laughs> no, it's not. That's very tricky to pull something off. Uh-oh. But uh -oh. the flank. It's quintessential Smeb. Are you ready? Oh, the four-man taunt. There it is. Yandu and everybody getting so, so low. Lambs are spiking to keep everybody alive. Smeb in the back line. But Pilot able to take down Shen. 
But that's going to be all they can take out here. The flashes. Trundle just went back into the base. No one's going to check. And that's going to be the free Baron going over to KT. Just really good timing out of them. To invade onto this one. It's going to be a cloud drake for them. A full disengage from MVP was punished by KT. Probably the most macro move of the game. There will be an Elder spawn. It's three minutes. And they've taken no turrets. They're going to get the easiest objective possible in the inner, in the top side get on top of anyone, but then again, it's hard when you got Ian, he's got the Banshee Veil. They finally group up in the mid lane and find someone. You got in a bit of trouble here. I'm trying to kill him on the side, he has to flash away. Maybe we don't come in. Maybe we try to catch someone. The flash pillar, they really want Yukal here. They know he doesn't have his flash, but the TPs are coming in. Double P TP now, but score getting low. The lamps are spiked, getting into position just on time. But the flash forward, and he gets the flip over. There it is. He's gonna pop his GA. No Sun gonna be able to come in here. Hero's entrance to save uh, score. And uh, Smith is not gonna hit much. Vladimir was on the top side. Here's the TP. Oh, that's UCAL gonna get into the back line. A two man stun, but nobody is able to follow up. Finally, the Zonius comes in. Score on the front line, trying to poke him down. ADD gets low, but look at all the low. Try again. Looking for ADD this time, though. Looks like Score is going to do another great thing in this match. Here he does have his Hemo playing. They're so slow, KG. He's hesitating. He, it looks like they want to take the fight instead of just go straight for the Baron. He's trying to go away from their base and begin to uh, stalemate this game a lot longer. About a 30 second, eventually, an Elder Drake. And look at what happens here. MVP, they have a wave pushing in mid lane. A pretty big. Into a hero's entrance while Insanguine pulls. The only way you see it. Yeah. Max is walking up and that's going to take this inhibitor turret. First inhibitor turret of the game goes the way of MVP. Yeah, I was actually totally incorrect. They were just waiting for the next wave and they want to go for it big time. The flash on in with the taunt and a huge emo play on the two guys in front. ADD also going to get extremely low, but look at that. Actually, the UCAL goes to yep, as well. That's a big old 13. For that is a crap load of marks. Speaking of Kindred. Oh, trying to get behind, but score getting too low. The Lambs or Spike comes down just in time. They're still going to engage on him. He has the shield. And here's Smith from behind, trying to get onto Pilot this time around. But look at this Pilot. Look at to turn it around. He has the help of his team. ADD has gone down, though. They trade for top laners in the end. A TP coming in here from UCAL behind. He really wants to catch him. Look at the minimap. The Galio from behind wants to get on top of this team. UCAL has no flash, but he does have the ability to cut them. Gonna have to be a Tony, but Pilot's almost oh, full health. Look at that life seal coming in. They get the stun onto the Galio score. Walking through, he has the GA. The stun walks on a match, but they take out Pilot. That's the big kill they wanted, and there it is, KT. Deft is able to pick up two with all the damage. Finally, first inhibitor turret at 45 minutes. For KT. It's been a doozy of a game. We've come a long way. And this isn't going to be the game ender either. They don't have Baron. It's pretty fast. And guys, we're just getting the oh. hold of thought. They get the engage here. On to score, but the follow up match getting so, so low. Timo playing onto a couple in the front line. Score having so much room, as well as Deft over the wall is able to. This one's not going to be free. MVP's here. Oh, look at this. Mev trying to get on them in the back line. The spite is going to come through. Can't quite engage onto MVP. Death gonna die. Second elder, remember, that will be the huge buff. Looks like oh, the steal, Ian! Oh boy! The MVP crowd it. are just deafening, oh. outnumbering, because then they don't have to worry about all the true damage. Gigantic wave in the bottom As is Yukal. He's got Flash. Looks like he may be going for it here. Comes from behind, and they are going to get it. Max in the back line is going to disappear. They get the Rakan, and the flank helps out so, so much to at least take out this support. 75 second death timers, and the Baron has a ridiculous amount of health, but ADD does as well. He's looking to engage from the left side, and KT not ready to go for it just yet. They're going to turn back onto the Baron right now. Have to be careful. They have to respect Syndra and her ability to get it over the wall. They're actually getting Ian to disengage, and it seems like the call was to go away. Yeah. Remember, the Elder is going to spawn in 40 seconds. Here at 56 minutes on patch 812. What world are we living Who's in? Who's it going to? Smep coming in from behind. But they do have vision of him. The Drake is going to reset. 
They're going for you, Cal. Now they're going to get on top of him, but they don't quite have the damage. Taunt comes in. Ian in the back line gets so low, and they get matched once again, but down goes you, Cal. But it's not going to matter. Pilot's still alive, but the rest of his team disappears around him. The TPs are coming in. Mata and Score are going to push them away so they can't back. Meanwhile, KT, they're going for the end. They should get the end, and they kill Lucian as well. It's going to take the best part of one hour, but KT rolls to Will 2 0 MVP. The fans going nuts. They finally do it here. 57 minutes and a half. They take out MVP 2-0. to zero. It was a hard one to do the interview. The funniest thing is that they actually didn't need the interview to go faster. They just meme made it faster. Yeah. A meme had to end faster. It obviously didn't need to end faster for Yuko, but he got through and here we go. Let's talk about Rift Rivals as the Rift Rivals teams all came off victories. We've closed out 8-12 and week three. We said goodbye to Aatrox. Thank you very much for your contribution. Oh. You were a bit busted by the end, so sadly. God, he was so good. I know, but the new one's so bad, so we won't see that one. Sadly, after a couple of hot fixes later, maybe. These are the Rift Rivals schedules, Korean standard time, starting as Spo TV will be doing the Korean broadcast. The English broadcast is happening too, so do tune in mm -hmm. similar times to the LCK, although the 2.50 p.m. Korean Standard Time start is about 50 minutes later than our Super Wednesday start. So we 